from the car. Hello. Hello. She's making me do this video. I'm forcing you, yes. So, okay, we'll just get into it. I don't really care. I think it's something that needs to be told to everybody. It's been three weeks, mm -hmm. roughly, since we did our last video. And what happened? I may as well explain. <laughs> it's kind of a, it's an interesting story that the knife community, our knife audience, that is, is going to want to know about. Right, and I bet, honestly, it has happened to them, too. It would have been three Sundays ago, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, all right. It was weird. Okay. So we were planning, we woke up that morning, we had two videos planned that we mm -hmm. were going to film. Yes. That morning, and we were, well... I was getting out of bed. Yeah. And I cut myself. <laughs> um, you like added up all of your like cuts that you should have done in the last seven years to this one particular cut. I would even say decade. It I had have been. A, yeah. So for being a knife channel, we really just don't cut ourselves no. as much as you think. We're, we're playing with knives all every the time. minute of yeah. every day. Mm -hmm. No, I mean like for, for like 10 years now. Yeah. And you just, we just don't cut ourselves that much. No, a little no. bit, a little bit here and there. Yeah. But you'd I have think... a good, I have a good scar still right here. When I was can't. that from, though? Um, it was probably like ten years ago. It's the Essie Azula went psh, right in there. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I do have this good memory right here. You're gonna have some really great memories. I got a few scars. <laughs> yeah, but. Nothing recently, right? Until no. now. Yeah. And yeah, three weekends ago, I'm waking up. Yeah, getting tell out of us bed. the story. How do you cut yourself waking up? All right, first of all, <laughs> no, we're not, we're not like hungover or anything like that. We were, there was no alcohol involved. We don't drink. Mm -mm. Okay. Nothing like that. This no. was just pure stupidity. Yes. Okay. It was. <laughs> I'm wearing at home around the house, you know, you wear sweatpants, you wear gym shorts, that kind of stuff. Yeah. This would be a good opportunity to ask the audience, don't you carry knives around the house? Maybe they're not the biggest, full-size, heaviest knives. Well, I know that I keep mine in, like, sweatshirts all the time, too. I don't like keeping them in pants, but I do keep them in stuff around the house. You've got knives everywhere. Yeah, I really yeah, do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this, for me, I'm, you know, it's, it's nothing new to carry a knife in a you know, gym shorts or sweatpants or something like right, that around yeah. the house. If it's something like the Benchmade bug out, thin, lightweight. This is an example. This is not the knife. And we're not actually going to say what knife it was because it could have actually happened with any knife. It happened with a tip up yeah. folder, yeah. right? It's clipped into my sweatpants pocket. Mm -hmm. And uh, I go to put the knife or I go to put the, the, the sh you know, the pants on. I'm mm -hmm. half asleep, right? And I just feel this like, I don't know, what what do you feel like? Almost a little, yeah, it feels like a little I don't know, I've sting. never cut myself like that. I so gotta who pull, knows? I gotta pull up the shorts, the pants. I'm, I'm half asleep and I just feel like this little tingling on my leg going up my leg. I'm like, what is that? You know, and I mm -hmm. look and, uh, is that blood? There's <laughs> blood dripping down. And I'm like, wait, you know, if I wasn't awake before, I was now. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, there's blood dripping everywhere. I the blade inside the, sh the the sweatpants was propped open. Yeah. Okay. Well, and I think what actually happened too is that some flippers, depending on what pants you're wearing, like those those pants that you were wearing have like holy pockets. Holy pockets? Yeah, holy okay. pockets. Yeah. And so it got caught in one of those holes and it propped it open. I think right. that's what it really well, did. It almost made it so it was like a wave action going it, on in there the reason we're not picking on the the knife that did it although it cut me two separate times yeah um uh, i don't want to pick on the knife that did it because it could happen to any flipper yeah it really could even though this one maybe is a is a bad design mm -hmm. we're gonna tell them about it we'll tell the the brand the that it yes. happened mm -hmm. with we'll tell them about it but yeah it's probably nothing I need to attack them with because it's a good brand otherwise, yeah. right? Well, I mean, honestly, any flipper tab could really do that. I really think it could. If it got, like, lodged in there, and I think that's what happened. And when you were pulling up your pants, it was, like, opening it up more. Like, I really well, think it was doing, like, wave action inside the pocket pants. It could have done something like that. I think what happened... Um, I think it actually happened when you were putting it in the last time i clipped the knife oh okay it actually propped open 
at that point oh, uh, and okay. it had just stayed open mm. and then I went to put it on um, would it be this way yeah yeah it went to put the pants on and there's yeah like what's mm -hmm. that what's that little feeling on my leg yeah tell do that exact story like well, right when it happened you were standing yeah. in front of the bed I'm standing right next to the bed I pull mm -hmm. pull the uh, pants on and yeah, it's just feel a little scratch there and look at my leg and there's a lot more blood than than it felt like it should have been, right? Yeah. And uh, you know, I I said your name. Yeah. You were you were telling me about that. Mm -hmm. Like I call her, I call her Frank or Frankie all the time. Yeah. At home and you do have a real name? An actual name. Mhm. Mm uh And what, any time you say my real name, I know something serious is going on. <laughs> yeah. So you were like in the other room or something like that, yeah. I, and I, I said, I said your real name, and you're like, you, yeah, you're you like, I there. think I really hurt myself. <laughs> yeah, just in like this dead, like, like no emotion, wording, you know, like still, still asleep though. Yeah, yeah, and there's blood everywhere. There's two cuts. There's one next to my knee. It's probably about. Mm -hmm. It's I don't know. It's like two inches long. The one next to my knee. And then the one above that on my thigh that goes up my thigh is like five inches long, probably. Yeah. Um, we'll show pictures because right now they're covered up, but it was pretty bad. We had to go to the emergency room. It looks worse than it is. Well, we had to go to the emergency we room. We had to go to the emergency mm -hmm. room. We didn't film those videos that day. Mm -mm. Got a bunch of stitches. It looks worse than it is, though. Yeah. I literally didn't even feel it later that day. Um, I think that was the pain medication kicking in. Oh, I did have pain medication <laughs> with it. But it, that wore off, though. But that being said, what we learned about this whole situation is always have a first aid kit at home because I was able to bundle it up. I, I you know, patched it up really nicely, and the emergency people, nurses and everything, said that it was very well done. She actually complimented her yes. nursing work, her emergency nurse mm -hmm. uh, skills. Yeah, yeah, from home because she she wrapped it up I, I before we went to life. the hospital. Yeah, yeah. You were losing a lot of blood. It looked worse than it was, but it, it, <laughs> there was a lot of blood though. There was, yes. For an early Sunday morning, um, mm -hmm. yeah. So for any time really. Yeah. But especially for a Sunday morning, there was lots of blood. What else? Yeah, we went to the hospital. We didn't film those two videos that day. And what happened was as soon as we stopped filming, it was time for a break. I was just like, you know what? I don't want to film any videos <laughs> for a little bit. I'll take a, a, break. Bit of a break. And they were yeah. like, well, we'll film some next week. Mm -hmm. And then next week came and then we didn't film videos. And then next week came and we didn't film videos. And now here it is three weeks later. And here's the video. Here's the video. Yeah. yeah. It's not the one that we had planned. <laughs> But should we remind them not to look to us for knife safety? Well, don't look to us for knife safety, but at the same time, we don't we don't typically cut ourselves because we're fairly safe. That's true. We're yeah. relatively safe. For as much as we handle knives, we have some common sense, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Um Look to who's got the... I think Blade HQ just put out a fun safety video. Oh, did they? Yeah, yeah, just dedicated to safety, but... Just use common sense. We don't need to say the knife that yeah. it was. It was just, it could happen to any flipper. Oh, but I didn't even say though. Oh, what? What? <laughs> I cut myself again with the same knife. Because I'm like, well, I don't want to be afraid of that knife. I don't, you know, <laughs> I still, I still wanted to use it. And it was like a week later or yeah. something like that. Because I just left it out. I'm like, oh, well, I still want to use this mm -hmm. knife. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to use it much yet. And you're probably just it. like s scared of it, so you're like uh, trying to hold it differently. Well, but it's probably making it worse. <laughs> I did though. I was carrying because you know we'll carry more than one knife sometimes, yeah. right? I'm carrying in my right pocket something totally different. This knife that we will not speak of. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll just call him Slicey. Slicey, sure. Yeah. It was in my. I had clipped it into my left pocket, and I go to. We're just you know, standing around, I, I was, we were shopping at Lowe's, was with a friend and he was looking at something and, you know, I'm just standing there, we're just talking or something. And I go to, you know, just kind of put my hand in my pocket. You know how you do when you're just standing around? Mm -hmm. I go to put my thumb in my left pocket and ouch, <laughs> <laughs> the, the blade was propped up again. Just Maybe slightly. we need to tighten the detent on it. 
No, it's. I mean, yeah. Maybe that's it. But yeah. it's still, it's still gonna pull it open yeah. anytime you it catches. Well, what what the um, the doctor in the emergency department said too, is that it was a very nice clean cut. So the knife was very sharp. It was sharp. And very clean and. It could have been worse. It could have been like a rusty, dirty thing. Like if it was D2, that would probably be the worst knife to cut yourself with. Could have been D2. That's mm -hmm. what she's going to say. Yeah. yeah. All right. I don't and know. And you'd really need a tetanus shot that way. I don't know if this is going to be the video. Well, do you, we do have some pictures. We should have taken more, but I think we were both in shock to it. Well, I won't so show was... the bloody pictures. I'll just show the stitches. How many stitches did you get? You tell me. Because I, I took them out. I think there were six on the one, and then the top one was, like, wrapped. I think there was about 20. <laughs> wrapped? Like, wrapped around my leg? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Well, how, it was, like, like wrapped, like, the stitches continued. One, two, three. That doesn't make sense. Like, how do you count stitches, too? Do you count each hole, or do you count the one piece across? I never actually looked at it. So I don't know. I I didn't look closely at it like you did. I'm I just took like, good oh, care stitches. of it. Yeah, yeah. Right, I was anyway. your nurse and I took good care of you. Anyway, she did though. Yeah. yeah. Never mind how many stitches it was. It was a lot. It was like <laughs> this much cut and then this much cut and then, then a poke. I don't know. Don't yeah. poke me. Then a poke. Don't poke me. That's all we got. All right. Okay, well, I, should we at least show what we're carrying? Are you just carrying the bench train? Is that all you're carrying? Yep. You're slacking. And it is, we are a little safer. Uh -huh. Oh, they're coming to get you. Yeah. I have this on me. We are a little- CT 450. We're a little safer than it shows in here. Okay. Um, it always looks like we're- What is this knife called? It was out of the going gear. You took pictures of it recently. Um, I forget actually. It was a going gear. I posted it on Instagram. You I can should look at it know there. it. I think it's an animal name. Okay. Anyway. Um, I have that one. That one. Here. Do you want to carry this one? You're only carrying one. Oh, I have the yeah. Sharp by Design on me, too. This is one of my favorite knives ever. Is that the Typhoon? Mini Typhoon? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Um, no. This is the Micro Typhoon. Okay. The one a slightly bigger is the Mini. This is Micro. Right. And then... I thought I had another one on me. Oh, yeah. I have a Benchmade, too. Oh, because... The mini bug out. We were going to carry Benchmades today, yeah, so we did. Yeah, his and Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I carried all those other ones, too. Okay. Okay. Anyways, that's what's happening, guys. That's why we took a little break. And... Didn't I, need to. I blame myself, too, because when we take a little break, then I'm like, I'm tired. <laughs> that's what I sound like. That's what like. she sounds like. Yeah. yeah okay. All right. No. Okay. That's it. We'll go back to some videos. And Instagram. We haven't stopped there. No, we have not. That always That's always going. Yep. Make sure to check the story. And every time we take a little break, we do every once in a while. You guys know this by now. We always come back, so don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. That's only for like the two or three. Weeks that we take off sometimes. No, uh, viewers that are actually worried about us. We don't have that I think some of them are worried. Anyway, make sure to leave your comments. We know okay. what you always do. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.